now after going through all these six videos in the series of web scrapping now it's time where i should show you some real work right so here i am today today i will be showing you this is a sample web page all right for a bookstore rather we can say this is specifically uh, you know dedicated for scrapping purpose like you can see the name itself suggests i will provide the link in description section you don't have to worry about now here you can see the list of books are available their rating and their price is available right right like you can see here is the book name its rating and its price mentioned over here now what we're gonna do today is today we're gonna learn how to do the scrapping of all these items and make a data set which looks something like this so if you can notice over here here we have the book title its rating and the book price mentioned over here all right so how does it sound good all right so let's start with this particular thing okay i'm just going to save this file and close it close it off we will do all these things from scratch where i will fetch the book name price and its rating these three things i will fetch so let's jump to the jupyter notebook here we are right here i have already done this thing recently and now i'm going to do it since because i'm showing it to you so i'm just going to show you from the scratch so for that first i will import all the required libraries which is import pandas as pd import requests as rqst request as rqst from bs4 import beautiful soup all right so we are done with importing all these things now our job is to request for that for the content of that particular url so we all know that we can uh, create a, a specific variable you can say web or whatever you want right and we can use request library and we can use the get method out of the request library and in this we're gonna supply the url of this page okay so here i'm just going to copy it i will just put it over here okay all right so let's check out the status what is the status that we get dot status code and let's see 200 bravo that means everything is fine now let's try to parse this so for that i'm going to create soup for soup i will say let me just say it as bs okay beautiful soup i'm defining as bs now over here i will say bs into sorry i mean inside this i'm going to supply web dot content we only need to par parse its content right and the parser which i'm going to use is nothing but html dot parser all right now if you're someone who understand how to parse that particular how to scrap that particular website i i would say just pause this video and try to practice that if you're someone who was who is learning but you think that you are very capable of doing that just pause this video and uh, try to scrap it simultaneously okay and let's see how the result compares okay now here we are done with making a soup well now the time comes in where we have to try the real things so what are the real things that we're gonna try let's first try to print it's uh, the soup in prettified mode pretty and let's print this here we got well so like here you can see that we have a prettified version of the HTML which we have just parsed right which looks pretty good but here we are we don't have much use of it okay now let's go back to the page and try to understand what all are the things that we need to find so to understand that uh, what we need to find is this title first we're gonna scrap okay so for that just right click on this and click on inspect when you do so here is the code that you're gonna get all right so in this you need to find where the book title is is sorry for my accent okay so here you see title we have this title mentioned now you see this title is under a tag and a tag is under h3 bravo so now we're gonna 
fetch we're gonna scrap h3 from the soup and from that we're gonna fetch a tag and out of that we're gonna fetch title let's try that okay so here i will say let's say soup dot we know that uh, we can use find all all right find all and in that what we need to find is okay let's try this first okay soup dot we need to find h3 all right let's go step by step so here is the h3 here is it we got it okay now we need to pick this particular part all right so how can we do that out of h3 we need to this particular part is residing in a tag and under title attribute all right so we need to fetch a tag first so we got the a tag as well now under this it is residing in title attribute right so i am going to use title attribute and here we got this right now we just need to automate let's try and automate this part so that we could get all the titles okay so we can say for x in soup dot find all we can say find all and in that what we want to first find is h3 and over here we will first print x so that i could show you what is it that we got over here right so you see we got all the h3 tags now out of this x we need to fetch only a tag so let's do this here we got a tag bravo now out of this a tag we require to only fetch title attribute right so out of this a tag i'm going to say title bravo we got it so this is it we want it right i hope this is very interesting and simple now i just need to store this in a list so i'm going to create a blank list which is called book lists and over here this is the blank list and what i'll do is here i'll just append this book lists dot append and in this we will have all this book list appended and here i will just print this book list right so here we got this list created bravo now let's try to fetch the rating let's check it out where that where is that rating residing okay so here you see this rating is inside p tag okay this is residing under p tag all right and under p tag we have class and uh, in that class we have the rating but if you notice this p tag is the child of this article tag okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from this article and out of that we will fetch this p because if you go with p only so there will be many other p tags also right so it will fetch all of them so to keep it specific we will look for only those p tags which are residing under article tag so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first fetch the article tag and then in that we will look for p tag let's try this okay so here we're gonna say soup dot article let's see what all we got over here the here are the things which we got now we need to fetch the p tags all right so i can say p so here we got that okay and out of this p we're gonna fetch class tag yeah we got this all right now we just need to automate this particular thing same way we just did it okay so let's say for x in soup dot find all and in that we're gonna look for article tag all right and from article tag i will just again try to print first x dot we require to fetch p and then out of that we need to fetch class let's try to print this here is that wow we got that okay now out of this if you see in each of this list we have two elements we need to fetch only this element right which is on the index one now we got this one as well now you know it what is it that we need to do we just need to store it in a list right so i'm going to say ratings equals to blank list and over here i will say ratings dot 
append all right and now here i will just print it let's see here we got that okay so now we are done with fetching the rating as well next job is to fetch the price this is going to be a little tricky let me show you how now here we need to look for the tag which is containing price so if you see over here let's try to find it right over here you see under the div tag we have this particular paragraph tag and under that we have class tag which is sorry class attribute which contains the value price color and in that we have this string this now let's try to find this first okay let's try to figure it out okay let me just say soup dot p and in this you know i'm going to tell you one new thing over here so let's just first find soup dot p so you see here is what we got right rating is something which we are getting so this is the first p tag which we have in the html right but we need to find the all p tags all right so how can we do that so this time i'm directly going to write the for loop for x in soup dot find all and in this we are going to print uh, this one all right sorry here i'm going to say print x and let's see what all we got over here so we are getting everything but we we are concerned about this one only right so let's see how can we fetch this particular one okay so to fetch this particular one what we're gonna say is just to fetch that we're gonna apply a condition over here in find all you can pass on many parameters so if you just hit shift tab you will see all these arguments inside this here you see it says attributes and in that you can supply all these things right so here i'm saying find the p tag and under this p tag i'm asking it to look for the class attribute uh, where the class attribute contains this particular value okay i'm just going to copy and paste it over here and then i'm asking it to print x bravo we got this okay now we got this p tag all right now out of this p tag we only need to fetch the this particular thing so this is if you have seen my previous video so this is navigation string right so to get that what we can say is get text and let's see if this works yeah it just worked right now i need to store it in a list so i will say price equals to blank list and over here i can say price dot append and that's all that's it so we are done with creating the price list as well now the next job is to create a dictionary for all these three things so i'm going to say create i'm just trying to fetch this in a very beginner manner right so please do not expect any advancement into it there are many ways to make it but i'm just trying to keep it simple uh, from a beginner perspective all right so here i'm just going to say book books list all right and in that i will say book lists then the second parameter which i'm going to say is ratings and in that i'm going to supply the list rating which we just created at the top after scrapping it now the next one is prices and in that i'm just going to store price all right so it is a store now the next thing which i'm going to do is i will say book data and in that what i'm going to do is pd dot data frame and in that i simply need to some supply this data and here i would just print this book data hmm? and you see here we got this data created bravo now we just need to export this into sas sorry uh, in excel all right so i'm just going to say to excel and in that i will supply the location where i want to export it so where i want to export it let me show it to you i have one location and right over there i would export it in the learn area itself i have one location which is called tables and i'm just going to copy this particular location and i'm gonna put it over here inside that i will say book list 
part 2.xlsx because in part 1 I have created it now because you know in uh, data frame we always have the indexes I don't want this index in my excel file so I would say index equals to false all right and here we go now you go back to the tables and here you see book list part 2 is created and I'll just open it and I'll show it to you bravo so we have our data created over here just the same way we were seeing it in the beginning all right fantastic i just hope that you liked it let me know in the comment section now in the next video we will try to cover this was just one page in the next video we will try to uh, navigate to the next page you see we we as of now we are seeing just one page out of 50 in the next one we will try to navigate to the next page and scrap the data from there as well until then happy learning wish you very all the best